In today's video, I am going to talk about and review the prompt engineering course by Hassan. He is popularly known as Edge Educate. In this video, you will see what I learned from this course, how I made some cool AI applications with the help of this course. I will show you what are inside the course so that you can determine whether this course is worth the investment. I will also help you decide if this course is suitable for you or if it is just an another scam. So you will get all the information you need in this video. So let's get started. Now what is prompt engineering? So prompt engineering is you know how you write good prompts or you can say instruction that make smart AI models like ChatGPT, Google Bird, Claude to give you good response. Prompt engineering is a new skill that can help you get good AI based job, boost your productivity and also help you grow your business. As per my experience, this course will teach you the basics of prompt engineering and automating most of the work with AI workflows. You will start by learning basics of prompt engineering such as how to write effective prompts that generate accurate and relevant responses from AI models. Then you will progress to Python scripting, a simple and popular programming language that can help you create and customize your own prompts. Finally, you will learn how to construct AI workflows with power prompts, which are advanced prompts that can enable AI models to perform complex tasks such as reasoning, logic, and creativity. Now, let's see who this course is for. This course is for people who want to get a better job with a new prompt engineering skills, learn more about programming in AI, make work easier and faster with AI workflows, make money with AI and automation, or just have fun with AI and save time and money. You don't need prior knowledge of programming, you just need a computer and, and an internet connection. Now let's talk about what you will get from this course. You can see here the first thing you will get from the course is the course content that are all modules, videos and scripts. The second thing you will get is the premium power prompts. The last thing you will get is a private support forum. Now let me show you what's inside the course and all the modules, videos and resources that you will get. You can see here that I am inside the course dashboard for the prompt engineering course by Hassan. On the left hand side you can find all the modules within the course. The first module is the course introduction where Hassan will introduce the course and explain you what you will learn from it. Let me show you a glimpse of it. Here you can find various materials such as videos, text, graphics and exercises. Additionally, there is a private forum which you can access via provided link. Moving on to the second module, we have you know like prompt engineering basics. In this section, you know you will learn the fundamental terminologies of prompt engineering, an introduction to prompts and the main limitation of language models like ChatGPT, Google Word and some other important lessons. The third module is Python scripting. Even if you have no prior knowledge of python scripting you will start from the basics and progress to becoming an advanced prompt engineer lessons covered include getting started loops function modules error handling JSONs and connecting with APIs such as OpenAI and Google API. All the modules are organized across the three pages. Let's now move to page 2 where we continue discussing Python scripting. In the final chapters of the Python scripting module, you will learn how to connect Python scripting with ChatGPT. The fourth module is ChatGPT plus Python connection. It covers connecting Python scripting with OpenAI to obtain responses from ChatGPT. The next module, Prompting in Action, focuses on summarizations, you know, question answering tools, building conversational tools, text classification and idea generation. The next module is the automation workflow which is highly important. With the help of this automation workflow, you will learn how to build AI workflow tools. Right? Let's say if you want to create automated media content or you can say your, a blog post for your blog or perhaps automate you know task for your YouTube channel, you can achieve it here. Let me show you what chapters will be included here. You, know, you will find chapters on how to summarize a blog post, how to summarize a YouTube video and much more. You will also gain additional workflow ideas and learn how to create your own workflow. Finally, you will dive into AutoGPT. I hope you heard about AutoGPT. You will learn about building AutoGPT prototypes. Next, we have premium prompt library where you will access to power prompts to assist you in your work. Let me show you an example from one of the lessons. For example, let's explore to summarize a blog post lesson. So you can see the materials right, you know, including videos and text. Sometimes you will also find coding scripts and links to download course materials for building your own tools. In the next step, we will explore prompt library to show you the premium prompt will received from this course after that we will take a look at the private forum next we have the prompt library as you can see in the prompt library you will receive 30 powerful prompts they are regularly updated as you can see the last update was on august 13 new prompts are consistently added and you can even request new prompts here i would love to show you all the prompts but you know it's important to respect copyright so i cannot display them you can simply click here to view the prompts yourself right once you have purchased the course you can see some example of this prompts like 
like advanced domain name generator with explanation, advanced keyword research for SEO planning, and advanced YouTube title generator, and many others. If you click on page 2, you will find more premium prompts that are highly optimized for generating high quality content and automating various tasks. I have personally used some of these prompts for productivity and marketing purposes, and I, like they have been quite effective. Now, let's move on to the private forum, right? Where you can ask questions, share your thoughts, and interact with others in the community. Hassan has two forums a public free forum and prompt engineers forum. In the prompt engineers forum, you can ask questions related to Python scripting or any other issues you encounter during the course. Hassan and his team, as well as you know, other group members, are here to help you. You can discuss problems, share your own programs and tools, or request premium prompts from others. There are many topics in the forums offering you know, a platform for discussion and learning. If you face any difficulty during the course, the this forum is an excellent resource for seeking clarity and getting assistance. Hassan and his team are dedicated to providing answers and fellow forum members you know, are often willing to help you. That's all the information I wanted to share with you about the course. You would receive all the course material once you join. Honestly, before joining the course, I did not know anything about Python scripting in AI automation. If you check all the videos on my channel except the previous video, I never talked about programming in automation. I just used to talk about ChatGPT in the most of the videos. But after enrolling and learning from the course, I learned about Python scripting from the basics. With this knowledge, I have built many workflows using my own Python scripts and the power prompts from the course. Let me show you the AI workflows and demos of how they work. To demonstrate, I will open Visual Studio Code where I have developed all these applications. To run them and provide a demonstration, I need to open the folder where I have saved all the scripts. So I will click on File, then Open Folder, then Navigate to Documents and select the desired folder. The application I will show you today is Block GPT, which allows me to automate blog post publishing to both Blogger and WordPress. Additionally, there is Medium Automation which automates the publication of stories on Medium. I have previously discussed Medium Automation in a prior video. Let's focus on Blog GPT for this demonstration. I will open the workspace and proceed to run the program. Before we do that, let me provide a brief overview of this program. In this program, the main file serves as the entry point while the other modules act as helper modules. Unfortunately, I cannot open some of these modules as they contain my APIs. However, I will explain how the program functions. Let me explain how this program works. This program helps you create and automatically publish blog posts on your Blogger or WordPress account. For this scenario, we have chosen a Blogger account. But in the next video, I will demonstrate the WordPress. First, the program will prompt you to enter a topic for your blog post. Then it will proceed to search for the related content on YouTube on YouTube using a function called YouTube search. This function is a part of the YouTube search module which connects to the YouTube API. You will need to generate a YouTube API from your Google Cloud account. The API allows us to search for relevant videos on the chosen topic and it will provide a list of 5 videos in the output. After obtaining the video list, we will use another module, the video transcriptor, to extract transcripts. Within this module, there is a function called get transcript, which retrieves the video transcript. This module provides the transcription of the longest video among the selected options. Following this, we will choose the best video based on the transcript. Now let's consider a scenario. The video length is not sufficiently long. In such cases, the program will take the initiative to search the web for additional information. To accomplish this, the program will utilize the Google Custom Search API. After successfully retrieving supplementary information from the web, it will join this new data with video transcription. This combination ensures that our transcription becomes more long and better. We will then proceed to pass a prompt. Initially, we will pass a system prompt which says you are a professional blogger. Subsequently, we will pass the user's prompt. These prompts along with the selected video will, will be sent to you know will be sent to OpenAI. Using models like GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT 4, OpenAI will generate the blog post content which will be returned to you. The program will also generate a title and feature image for your blog post. The image will also be generated with OpenAI DALI. You will get the image URL from this process. Finally, using post ID and publish blog post module. Your blog post will be published directly to your WordPress or Blogger account. Let's now execute the program. In this demonstration, we will focus on Blogger as I won't cover WordPress in this public video. 
I will show that in a separate video. So let's run the program. You can see that it asks for your chosen topic or keyword. Let's use artificial intelligence as an example. It will then display the top five topics related to the topic. The program will transcribe one of the best videos and generate the blog post content. It will also create a title and feature image. Finally, it will publish the blog post. Now let's check if the blog post and the feature image are published. As you can see, the blog post has been published. I have previously tested this program with multiple posts to ensure its functionality. You can see the generated image is not relevant. So we have to refine our prompts to obtain better results. Prompt engineering plays a crucial role in optimizing the output. You can see that the content is properly formatted with H1, H2 and paragraphs automatically. This is the power of learning prompt engineering. This demonstrates the power of automation in content creation. By refining your prompts and scripts, you can achieve even better results. I hope this clarifies how you can automate tasks effectively with proper coding and scripting techniques. For the WordPress demonstration, I will create a separate tutorial in another video. Stay tuned for that. Let's move on to the next step. Now let me give my honest personal review. I really like this course and I believe it was worth both my time and money. However, there are few things I did not like and I, and I would like to point them out. If you think it is, you know, it is only a prompt engineering course, you might be mistaken. It's more about integrating prompt engineering knowledge with Python scripting and then converting it to AI workflows as I mentioned earlier. However, this course does not dive into the prompt design in a great detail, right? Which is crafting a prompt. They talk relatively less about prompt designing. You will receive premium prompt templates, particularly the power prompts from the prompt library when you thoroughly study these templates you will gain insight into the prompt operation and even start designing your own prompts now in terms of rating i would like to give this course 4.5 out of 5 stars because it's provided everything i wanted except for in-depth guidance on prompt engineering tactics especially on prompt design that's the only drawback in my opinion before i end this review i have a special bonus offer for you if you sign up for this prompt engineering course using my affiliate link which you can find in the description box below you will get access to some of the application that i built with the help of the course and my own skills you'll also get video training on how to create uh, tools like them how to connect apis and how to use the tools so don't miss this opportunity and enroll in the course today using my affiliate link that concludes my review of the prompt engineering course by hassan i hope you find it helpful thank you so much for watching